What's up? This is Christian coming to you from my backyard. I'm here with chickens. What's up, chickens? Hey, chickens. And a dog. And uh, this is day five of uh, 31 Days of Character Creation. And uh, I didn't get a prompt for Emilio today. I forget to get one. So I'm just going to come up with one. And the prompt is shovel. Okay, so uh, let's roll a d10 for uh, for ancestry. Okay, that is a three. So we have an elf, and then culture is a five, and so that's uh, halfling culture. We're gonna do class, which is our d12. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Let's Roll Characters sheet, which you can get on our Twitter at at Let's Roll Cars. Let's roll chars. You know, it's our thing. You you wouldn't be seeing this if you weren't on there already. <laughs> All right, D twelve for uh, class. That's going to be a two, a bard. Okay. Um, so we got an elf, halfling, bard background. D twenty. Oh, I'm getting pecked at by this one. What's up? What's up? Oh, you want that button, huh? Okay. Um, or divot or metal thingy whatever it's it's the metal nipple she wants the metal nipple yeah we all want the metal nipple um okay so background d20 is a one in accolades like another accolade okay and then our gender d4 is going to be a one that's a male okay so elf ancestry halfling culture um class is stop pecking at me Classes, um, bard, background, accolade. Stop it! Stop it! I might have to mess up. I might have to. Me- hey, what do you think? Who do you think you are, huh? You know they say when when they start like pecking at you and whatnot that you're supposed to hold them upside down. Look at this. You're supposed to hold them upside down and just let them flap like maniacs until they stop. Look at this. Look at this. Who's this one? Think he is? she is, huh? Huh? Who do you think you are? What What do you think you're looking for there? Okay, anyway, so, um, let's see. So, <clears throat> this elf raised by halflings, I want to say, is it a sort of like, uh, it's like a, a, not a reverse Lord of the Rings thing, because it's not like a, an elf raised by humans, like Aragorn, the opposite, but like, um, I don't know, uh, it, this elf is, um, oh, hello. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> this elf is... Uh, let's see, what are we, Bard, okay, so, I, th- oh, okay, yeah, so, <clears throat> this elf, uh, started off in a, uh, very religious, uh, I'm gonna say, elf sort of, um, uh, you know, not cult, because I'm always sort of talking about cults, but, um, some sort of highly religious, uh, elf society, stop it, and, um, <laughs> This one keeps on pecking at me. <laughs> Some sort of um, highly religious elf society. And uh, decides, though, that they, they actually have a, a love of the bardic bardic arts. And so singing and poetry and storytelling and that kind of thing. And who else are you going to learn uh, those sorts of arts from, if not a, a, a halfling culture? Um, and so this elf uh, fled there. Um, highly religious background uh, in search of um, halflings who could truly teach him um, the art of um, bardic, you know, artistry. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, okay, let's let's see what our ability scores tell us about this guy. So our um, strength roll is going to be um, a nine. Okay, so yeah, I mean. This is not... They're, they're not into fighting. That's not their deal. Let's see what their dex roll is going to be. Dex is a... That's an 11. Okay, again, they're not they're not a fighter. That's not their vibe. Constitution is... That is a 15. Okay, all right. So they're, they're hardy. Or he's hardy. Um, intelligence is a... Uh, that's going to be a 13. Okay, not bad. And then these these chickens they want to eat me. Um their wisdom his wisdom is going to be uh oof uh five eight ouch, okay. And then this is for all the marbles, we need a high charisma roll. What do we got? Oh 
and we have 16. Oh man, that couldn't have worked out better. Okay, so yeah, this is a, some, they escaped from a cult. Uh, not a cult, not a cult, not a cult. Just highly religious background. Escaped from a highly religious background, and uh, now they're, 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 they're he's going to become a, a, a bard. Uh, and I don't know. I think that's good enough. This is just a nice, wholesome, follow your dream story. And oh, and there's a shovel involved though. Okay. Um, so, oh yeah, I think, uh, in order to escape, uh, the, uh, religious community, um, there might have been some sort of, uh, unsavory deed that he needed to commit, um, and, uh, he fled the scene after, uh, burying that unsavory deed, uh, with a shovel uh, in hand, and when he finally arrived, uh, sort of, you know, in the middle of the night, uh, in this uh, halfling village that he'd been intending to flee to, um, he was seen, you know, you can imagine him coming into a halfling tavern, uh, it's pouring outside, the door opens, there's lightning behind him, and all he's got as he sort of enters into the, uh, the tavern is his shovel. And so we're going to call him... Um, we're gonna call him, yeah, what do you, what do you think? What, what do you chickens think? What, what are we gonna call him, huh? What are we gonna call him? I think we're gonna call him, um, uh, um, Flight Song the Bard. Flight Song the Bard. All right. That was day five. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't have COVID. I'm still like totally sick and like, yeah, it's a bummer, but uh, no COVID, hashtag no COVID. Okay, bye.